Disney. Higher. Um, this is a book that I picked up on one of my net, um, my Kindle 99p deals. And I'd heard about the series from other booktube channels, so I thought, well, I'll give it a go. And it's Disney's A Whole New World. And this is the first in the series, and it's a retelling of Aladdin. That cover does not show at all well on here. It is far too dark. Sorry about that. And it's a retelling of Aladdin. Um, what if he'd never found the lamp? So I, I went into this not quite knowing what to expect. And it's a darker version of the cartoon version. Um, I remember watching the cartoon version many times when my son was young and it is still one of my favourite ones. And so when I started reading this, I kept getting pictures from the cartoon coming into my head. I could see the cartoon characters as I was reading. And in this version, Aladdin doesn't get the lamp, Jafar does. So the genie is beholden to Jafar. It's Jafar that gets the wishes. And he wants to marry Jasmine and create this new world. And the genie is trapped with Jafar rather than being with, with Aladdin. You've still got Abu. You've still got the magic carpet. You've still got Princess Jasmine. But you've got other characters as well. You've got a whole... Um, collection of street rats and it's the street rats that are the main part of the story. Jafar wants to marry Jasmine, he wants her to be his sultana and you've got this battle between the street rats and Jafar because Jasmine doesn't want to marry Jafar. Who'd want to marry Jafar anyway? And she and Aladdin and the street rats join forces and you've got this, this huge battle. And it's dark, a much darker story. You've got death, you've got bits of it are quite, quite gruesome. Um, I can't imagine this being read for young children, not at all. The female characters are strong in here. Jasmine is a very strong character. And Morgiana, who's one of the street rats, who's Aladdin's friend, she is a really feisty character. She, she comes through very, very well. Aladdin, oh, I am so sorry, but he is so insipid. I found him totally one-dimensional. I, I, I just... There was just nothing to him. Every time I came across Aladdin in this story, I just got this version of the cartoon character, you know, the one with the sort of the wry smile. And there was just, to me, there was just nothing to him at all. It was the female characters that were carrying the story. Um, it was a good, good read. It was all right. Um, it's one I finished. It's one that I could recommend if you fancy a something a little bit different but on the whole give me Disney's cartoon version with uh, Robin Williams as the genie because I much prefer that but yeah and uh, that that's my version that's that's my version that's my my review of it I prefer the book I prefer the cartoon character but it was an interesting idea to to switch it around and give Jafar the lamp rather than Aladdin. So, um, I might pick up another, another one of the Twisted Tales another time, because I've done them with Sleeping Beauty and I think The Mermaid, Little Mermaid. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with those stories. So that is it for today. Happy reading and uh, I'll catch you another day.